Welcome to the Spring Boot Plus Firebase tutorial where we create an application or a REST API CRUD application where we use Cloud Firestore, a database by Firebase and Google uh, for our backend and we see how we can use uh, a cloud database and see how it works and we can also connect our application with Spring Boot and REST API so that we can manipulate it uh, with using REST APIs. So let's get started. This is going to be a four or five video playlist where we uh, start from setting up uh, Firebase in our application from scratch. Then we move on to building our APIs, REST APIs. And in the uh, process, we learn how the Cloud Store, uh, Firestore works and how we understand some concepts behind how it's working and such. So let's get started with our tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be talking about what a Firebase is and what Cloud Firestore is and also do some basic uh, setup where we create our Spring Boot application. Uh, using IntelliJ and uh, in the next video we'll take it from there. So first let's talk about what is Firebase and what is uh, Cloud Firestore. So Cloud Firestore is basically a flexible scalable NoSQL cloud database uh, where it stores and syncs our data for client and server side development. In our application we'll be doing server side development where we ask our Spring Boot server to actually get data from Cloud Firestore and then how we can access it, create, retrieve, update or delete our data. So Cloud Firestore is a flexible scalable databases for mobile, web and server deployment uh, from Firebase and Google Cloud. Uh, sim similar to what Firebase has with real-time databases, it keeps our data in sync across client applications through real-time listeners and it also offers offline support for mobile and web. So basically when we create uh, update or delete data inside our application, uh, we will be seeing a dashboard where we can actually see our data get deleted live and all of them will be updated in real time. So we'll see that how that happens and how we can connect our application, a local application to a server which is given to us by Firebase and Google. So some uh, capabilities that we need to highlight when we're using Firebase is the, the fact that why it's so famous and why people actually use it for their apps. Uh, so the first thing is flexibility. Uh, it provides hierarchical data structures. So our data is stored in documents, uh, organized into collections, and then we can uh, make complex nested objects in sub collections and we can always query them very easily. So it's very flexible to use uh, Cloud Firestore for our needs. Uh, we have explicit querying. So you can use queries to retrieve individual and specific documents or retrieve all documents. And this can include multiple chain filters, combined filtering with sorting, all sorts of fancy stuff which you want to do on your uh, database. Next is real-time updates. Again, a fun thing to see. So we can see it uses data synchronization to update data on any connected devices. So if you have like 10 apps connected to your single uh, cloud Firestore database, then you can see it updated on all of them live in real time. And it'll be fun to see how that works and how we can actually use it. So yeah, this is basically how it works. So it's a cloud hosted NoSQL database uh, for all the platforms and it's available in native Node.js, Java, Python, Unity, so on and so forth. We will be using the Java REST API uh, library and framework to actually query our data. And we'll develop a, sing a simple CRUD uh, API. So whenever we learn a new technology, the best way to get started or the hello world of learning anything about web servers or web frameworks would be to create a CRUD application in it. It teaches us how to interact with the database, teaches us how uh, the basic functions work, methods work, and also gives us a, a simple CRUD application at the end, which we always create. So it'll be fun to work with that. And in the tutorials, we'll see how everything connects together and how easy it is to actually uh, connect our Firebase Firestore database with our local Spring Boot application. So uh, first, would uh, I would highly recommend you to go through the documentation. We cannot cover every single, single thing in documentation uh, in our videos. Uh, we'll jump into the implementation directly. So I really, really encourage you to uh, go to the description of the video and uh, read enough about Cloud Firestore to be comfortable uh, working with it so that we can uh, have a very good uh, and productive discussion whenever the video is on. So yeah, uh, let's get started. So first thing which we need to do is create a project in Firebase. Uh, but before that, let's actually uh, create our application, uh, a Spring Boot application so that we have everything from application side ready uh, in the next uh, video we can directly continue with our Firebase configurations. So uh, as as like any other uh, online API or SDK, we have to have uh, secret keys which we can use from 
given by firebase for our application so that you know we can authorize and authenticate each and every uh, request it sends and also basically have all the libraries and maven dependencies ready so let's do that boilerplate stuff in this video and then in the next video we can actually start building some uh, stuff using our application so uh, here if you can see the screen i have a very simple uh, maven project which has a pomod xml nothing inside so far just a pomod xml so first let's fill this up and let's actually have something inside here uh, which we can use so to do that let me quickly uh, get all the dependencies that we need so that we can then just talk about it and then focus more of our time on how do we actually uh, set up firebase uh, on its side so let me just get this done and once we get this done let's just quickly have maven uh, pull them might get some errors uh, if it is not properly configured but i think my environment and paths are correct so not to worry in that aspect and yep i think everything looks pretty good smooth uh, let the indexing and everything get done okay great so let's go through our dependencies so since we are working with the Spring Boot uh, REST API project, we will have Spring Boot Starter Web to have basic necessities uh, in terms of annotations, which we need to use. Lombok is to make sure that our data looks good. And again, uh, annotations which help us uh, help our CRUD API journey smooth with all the annotations it provides. Next is the Firebase admin dependency, which will basically help us interact with Firebase using the underlying APIs. And we'll see how easy it is to actually uh, work with the firebase admin and see how it works lastly would be to have our spring boot application use a maven plugin to install uh, all of our dependencies and just build our project properly so pretty simple boilerplate uh, code here nothing uh, crazy that's going on i would say the next thing would be to have a runner so if we have a runner it'll just be easy to run our project from the next time so create a package and let the name of the package be com dot java dot firebase and inside this package we can have our runner class we'll have all of our classes here but let's call it crud runner. so we're just going to build a simple crud app right so let's just call it crud runner and inside this we'll just start our application so all we have to do here is copy a bunch of stuff uh, nothing uh, crazy uh, all we are doing here is having a main method so public static void main string args and let's call this our spring boot application entry point and have a very simple spring boot application runner which basically runs our application so yeah, this is a uh, simple basic information which we need in our application to run it. And we have our pomod XML also set. Now let's jump on to the uh, Firebase configuration side where we need to set up our application. So uh, what do you do? Go to console.firebase.google.com and if you don't see this uh, page, don't worry. All you have to do is add a project. So make sure you find that. And from here, it'll be the same uh, steps which we do. Uh, let's call this Firebase tutorial db uh, and let's see how it works so have a pro name for your project firebase project this can be disabled for now and uh, google will basically create our database database and everything for our, for us so all you have to do is just wait it takes us a couple of seconds but uh, if it's taking some more time then i'll probably wait for a few more uh, minutes and then see if it's uh, happening usually uh, it's pretty smooth no problem here so yep we are good to go with our application and as you can see we have our firebase tutorial um, db ready uh, up and ready to use so in the next video we'll see how we can actually uh, set up uh, get all the secret keys from uh, firebase and set it up inside our local application so that when we run our application we connect to the correct uh, database and also create a database and make sure that everything is smooth in terms of connecting so that in the later videos, we can then start building our application and building our CRUD endpoints for uh, Firebase. So uh, this is it for this video. Make sure to go through the documentation 
uh, which is in the description below to get uh, used to Cloud Firestore and make sure to follow the steps to create a new Google project and also to have our palm.xml ready with all the dependencies which we talked about here. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.